Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be doing my episode review for the most recent episode of our favorite, The X-Files. Before I begin, of course, I would just like to throw out a huge Huge thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in for last week's video, which was my uh, reaction to the season 11 premiere and episode review of The X-Files. It has gotten over 2,000 hits and the views continue to go up and people have been leaving comments and uh, generating feedback like crazy. And I just really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because that is exactly what I am aiming for is like interacting with you guys going back and forth with comments and we all throwing out our theories and opinions and whatnot. I just want to say a very special thank you to all of you who have tuned in for my X-Files season 11 premiere video. And I hope you continue to watch with me as we continue along this uh, newest season. So. That being said, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. That being said, uh, before uh, you keep watching or listening to this video, please be warned that this will be full of big uh, big spoilers regarding the most recent episode of X-Files. So if you're not caught up on X-Files, uh, do not keep watching or listening to this uh, uh, episode review. So this episode brought us back to the good old days of like almost nailing the bad guys and then they got away with it. You know, I gotta say, I'm not surprised with the ending of this episode when we saw when they returned with their own uh, with their own uh, little task force and cyber forensics, as Mulder put it, that uh, you know uh, everything was gone. You know, the woman uh, Price was gone. Uh, her uh, men were gone. Uh, their uh, the computers or the machines that were uh, they were running the digital uh, reality were all gone. So of course everything was gone, and uh, the FBI missed out on their opportunity to uh, uh, snatch them to uh, to catch them in the act. And it's like they never catch these guys red-handed. You know the dark forces within the U.S. government that Skinner mentioned earlier. They never catch them in the act. They never catch them red-handed, which was always so frustrating to me. It's probably why I didn't like this episode as much as I enjoyed the season premiere. Because I enjoyed the season premiere. This episode I liked just not as much, I feel. You know, I thought, uh, I did think it was kind of cool how they brought back one of the lone gunmen, Langley, uh, in a way, you know, revealing that he's like sort of uh, calling from beyond the grave, or at least his consciousness is. That was also something else that was just a tad confusing was how, where exactly was he and how was he reaching out uh, to Mulder and Scully? I mean, that part was a bit confusing, although I think I got the gist of it at the end there with like, oh, these people of like, uh, you know, when they died, their uh, consciousness, their subconscious goes to this new digital world, uh, this digital reality, which is apparently more like a never ending prison rather than paradise. And of course, they're using this to prepare some people for when uh, the alien uh, weapon is unleashed upon the world and it wipes out uh, nearly all life as we know it. So, of course, you know, I thought at first, oh, is this a separate storyline from that? But nope, apparently this is... Uh, this is very much a continuation of the uh, initial threat that we were introduced to last week in the uh, season premiere. Um, it was great to uh, hear some of that uh, good old uh, Scully and Mulder banter going back and forth. You know, like uh, the little comment he makes about, like Scully makes some comment about how is he capable or how is he able to do such things with both hands handcuffs and he says something like surely you of all people know that or know that answer better than anyone or something like that which was kind of funny and uh, you know they were able to crack a few jokes here and there so you know it felt like a it felt like a good old-fashioned uh, x-files episode I think uh, even though I wasn't a big fan of it I liked it enough and it was definitely uh, dark and mysterious enough to keep me uh, engaged and uh, uh, looking at my TV the whole time, like, hmm, you know, kind of one of those episodes. Uh, and uh, I also enjoyed uh, seeing Skinner again. It was interesting to hear Scully refer to him as Walter because I think uh, these characters refer to each other by their last names so much that they rarely, hardly ever call each other by their first name. So that kind of threw me off when I heard Scully refer to him as Walter. I was like, oh, right, yeah. But of course, that also makes sense because it's like she was trying to ap appeal to his uh, 
his uh, sentiments, uh, his loyalty, and I think that worked as well. I also enjoyed how, uh, like in last week's episode, they happened to throw a few jabs and a few references to the po current political climate in this country and the state of the world for that matter. I love how this show, uh, no matter what year it is, uh, tends to stay up to date with the modern age, so to speak, at least in the world of politics and uh, global politics and global policies, at least. I think Chris Carter and the writers do a good job of staying up to date of what's going on in the news, in the world, with our current leadership and leadership around the world. So it's just, it always, it just uh, always makes me smile or cracks, you know, it always makes me crack a smile when I hear uh, modern references to current events or uh, current uh, situations. I was like, oh, okay, so this is definitely set in this day and age. Uh, things are going on, and it was uh, kind of funny how Skinner mentioned that uh, the FBI didn't exactly have a whole lot of friends in the White House nowadays. I thought that was a clever little uh, throw in there, a little tie-in. Um, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, and something else that really made me laugh. When Skinner is revealing that they uh, digitized all the copies of the original X-Files, and it was shown at least two times. Uh, one of the X-File folders uh, was labeled Home Pennsylvania from the uh, classic, uh, controversial, probably one of the more graphic episodes of the X-Files, which is actually, I think, a big fan favorite episode, come to think of it, when uh, Scully and Mulder go to the small town of Home Pennsylvania to investigate a family of uh, inbreds. Uh, which is a great episode. It's uh, it's pretty uh, messed up, but uh, it, I think it became a fan favorite over the years. And I thought it was funny how that was the one of the many uh, cases that they investigated that was thrown up there on the screen for all of us to remember. Oh, home Pennsylvania, of course. There, there it is. That was uh, that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, like I said. Um, uh, it was a good episode overall. Some parts of it were hard to follow. Uh, some parts of it were pretty entertaining. And, uh, it, you know, it left you with a, with a feeling that you just watched a good old-fashioned X-Files episode where it's a very cloak-and-dagger type of story. And uh, they discover a dark secret that's been hidden for so long. And just when they thought they could expose it, everything vanishes. Just like... Those other episodes that, you know, uh, always kind of drove me crazy because it's like the bad guy always got away right before they could be exposed or be brought to justice. But that is the struggle of the X-Files to uh, fight against these uh, dark forces within the U.S. government that work against him. But that's what makes for good storytelling, too. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another X-File-filled episode review here on The Edward. What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you have a favorite part? Any favorite references or Easter eggs? Please feel free to sound off and comment down below in the comment section like you guys did with last week's video. Again, thank you so much for that. It really, really warms my heart to see the feedback and the comments you guys leave. Please continue doing that. I absolutely encourage it and love it. The X-Files is back on Fox, of course, with brand new episodes premiering every Wednesday night. Uh, don't miss it. It's it's. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, another fun, interesting ride. All right, guys, have a great rest of the night. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.